Hi, my name is Deanna Sokoroth, and I was fortunate enough to be able to come to the Mayo Clinic here in Rochester, Minnesota in November of 2009 after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And so after getting a uh, first um, doctor's appointment and a first opinion in Chicago, we wanted to get a second opinion, and my husband was well aware of Mayo and thought that was the place to go to get our second opinion. And sure enough, we came, and the first physician that we met here was Dr. Beagie. And he's the first person that we met here that really put us at ease and really gave my husband and I hope that they were going to be able to sort of help us through the process and do the surgery, but just really was the first person to give us a positive outlook and that I was diagnosed earlier than most people. And um, he just was sort of our calming uh, person to go to every time we kept coming back to uh, Mayo. Every time we see Dr. Vigi, he's just sort of our source of strength here and we so appreciate everything he's done for us. Several days after we came to Mayo, we had uh, the surgery done, the Whipple surgery by Dr. Uh, K. Reed Lombardo. And she was a phenomenal surgeon. I can see again when Mayo pulls sort of the top people in the country to come and work here. Uh, my husband and I, my family, all felt we had the best care possible here. And uh, we would return back for anything we could ever come back for. Um, Mayo gives us a peace of mind that we're getting the best care possible. Here for seven days after my surgery, and typically I understand it's like a 14-day recovery. And again, that really is to the credit of all the nurses and the staff that really helped me through night after night with uh, the pain and just issues that I had after the Whipple surgery. I, I remember certain nurses in particular who were so careful in wrapping my arm in some warm cloths when they were giving me some of the IV medications that burned. And they just took that extra step that I've never seen anywhere in any other hospital, and I've been in many other hospitals around the country. And so really, when we come to Mayo, we just always trust, no matter what the doctors here tell us, we need to do as a next step. And luckily, after about a year and a half since I've been cancer-free, because I've gone through chemo and radiation, um, we came back to Mayo because we needed to have another procedure done uh, to sort of uh, put in a stent where there was a clogged um, uh, duct in my pancreas. And it was unsuccessful in Chicago. We tried it there first with a very well-known doctor. And then we said, let's call Dr. Beagie to see if maybe they can do it here. And sure enough, we did that just uh, a day ago, and they were very successful in doing what they needed to do. So I'm once again grateful to Mayo.